Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I really enjoy shooting my AR-10 style rifle off the bench, like this. But one thing's for sure, when shooting semi-auto, I seem to chew through the rifle ammunition at least twice as fast compared with bolt action shooting. And that calls for a great, effective and efficient reloading setup like this Hornady Lock and Load AP five station progressive press coupled with the Hornady Lock and Load Rifle Bullet Feed System. In this video we're going to continue our series about this rifle bullet feed system by showing full progressive setup and operation loading 308 Winchester. Let's get rolling. So in previous videos we've already done the basic setup steps. Here I just want to walk through a couple fine tuning criteria to ensure that we have a smooth loading session. So here we are looking down at the feed bowl and there's just a couple key settings we're going to want to keep track of here. The first is these bullet wipers here. So you can see here we have a bullet that's oriented backwards and as it sweeps up around the top here it's going to get kicked off. But if we have a bullet that's oriented correctly it's going to sit here against the guide plate. That's the other measurement. We have a couple lock nuts here. If we loosen those, we can actually fine tune with this knob here, the height of the guide plate. What we want is for it to be high enough that it retains the base of the bullet, but low enough that it will reliably uh, flip off bullets that are oriented improperly. That's the basics. Now we can turn on the feed bowl and start to fill up the drop tube. The second thing that we're going to need to fine tune is the bullet feed die. So you start by installing the die at the appropriate die height. There's instructions for that that come with the press. You're going to also adjust the bullet seat depth and the bullet crimp. The crimp is optional. It depends on how you have the die adjusted. There's also the uh, bullet drop adjustment over here. And there's two included pivot blocks for different uh, bullet lengths. Uh, and then an adjustment here to fine tune the uh, drop action there. Now, when you first uh, turn on the feed bowl, it's going to fill up the drop tube. And normally you would have to manually insert the full first bullet. But what you can do is just pivot the block and drop, drop one manually. You have to play with it a little bit to get it to drop fully. Now we're ready to run a test round through the press. Sometimes I like to uh, prime the sizing die with uh, a little bit of synthetic motor oil as lube. Uh, what I'm going to do is just dip the end of my finger in here, spread on just a tiny, tiny bit, and then uh, dip the Q-tip in, get the inside of the case neck, and then take the clean end, wipe off uh, the excess. So this is just going to help things a little bit. I'm going to use a spray-on lube since we're loading bulk, uh, but this first one through will uh, prevent us from getting a stuck die right off the bat. Okay, so let's uh, send our first cartridge through. So I'm just going to insert it here where the uh, case inserter normally would. Nice and smooth sizing because we used our uh, synthetic motor lube. Priming, dumping a load of powder. We're gonna watch up here. Yes, we have a uh, nice powder cop indication there. We're gonna get our bullet. And then we're going to uh, crimp the bullet. Now would be a great time to uh, measure the overall cartridge length. Uh, you could do that either with a comparator or digital caliper that's going to just measure from tip to tail. I've already done that here and it appears that things are uh, set up well. We've got a good primer. Everything looks good. So we're ready for our, uh, full progressive operation. When I'm setting up the press, I like to do so without the uh, case feed drop tube filled so that I don't have cases being inserted constantly. But now that we've gotten everything set up and confirmed our setup, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the case feeder. All right, time to run up the press. I like to go nice and slow and nice and steady at first to make sure that I have the feel down and that I don't rush things. You can feel the expander ball really pronounced. So I like to use double handed operation. Using the rifle bullet feed really helps out there. 
Okay, all stations are full. Time for progressive loading. As I'm loading here, I'm keeping my eye on the Hornady powder cop die. It looks like everything's running smooth. There you have it, loading 308 Winchester ammunition with the Hornady Lock and Load AP Press and the Hornady Lock and Load Rifle Bullet Feed System is simple, fast, and efficient. Stay tuned here on Ultimate Reloader because next we're going to take a look at using the Hornady Lock and Load Rifle Bullet Feed System on other presses. Catch you all later and thanks again for watching.